Well, hello there. My name is Javon, and you are now listening to the Javon Ology Podcast. Hey. Oh, yes, I know, I know. I know it has been a long time, a very long time um, since I have made any podcast. Um, I do apologize about that. Well, I don't really know. I'm really apologize about it. But life has been life in, and we have just been rolling with it. Um, I generally don't remember the last podcast that I had, but if you have listened to it, um, thank you for listening to my podcast because I really do appreciate it. Um, I love having my content out as much as possible. And yeah. Oh, I don't know where to begin. Um, I'm 30 now. I think the last time I recorded something, I was 29, if I believe so, um, which about is about a year ago. Um, yeah. There has been so many things have changed other than my age since then. Um, and I kind of want to jump into it a little bit today. Um, but for the most part, um, I did want to start speaking on like reasons why I haven't came back or a reason why I haven't done any podcast or honestly any content in general, um, is a lot to do with my anxiety about coming back. Um, it's really hard for me to do something and then go full throttle and then I drop it and then to come back. Um, prime example is like when I go to gym. Um, when I go to the gym, I like to work out. Um, I've been doing it for years, but the thing is, is once I stop, it takes forever for me to come back in to do it. Um, I think it's because I have so much, um, self doubt after I don't do something for a long time because I'm like, well, shit, uh, I didn't do it for a while. So now the craft is shit, um, (laughs) which is a horrible way to think, but that's just how it is. It's kind of like I'm either all in or all out. That has relationships, friendships, anything honestly um if i'm not all in it's just it gets messy so one thing i want to say is that i do not apologize for not doing any podcasts or doing any content for a while because i needed to really get back to a good state of mind before i push out anything that involves me um i am super hard on myself when it comes to so many things um i'm going to therapy for that shout out to therapy um, so, yeah, content creating is not as easy as people think, which I feel like sometimes I even get into that mindset just thinking like, oh, you're just going to sit in front of a camera and you're going to talk, or, oh, you just need to put down a mic, you're going to talk, or just put something up on TikTok, it doesn't matter what it is, but when it comes to real creatives, not saying that these people are not creatives, the ones who just throw videos up every day, um, but To us, it's kind of like a craft. Um, It's something that we want to put all of our good energy into, positive energy into, into something that we would know um, at the end of the day when we rewatch it, like a few months later, that we truly enjoyed it. Um, And that's how I am with my craft. Um, I know to some people, they may not see it as a craft, which is okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, But... When it comes to content creating or doing anything where you're using your voice to say anything or also make the, be a, make people aware of stuff or just doing it for a good old jolly time, um, for me, it's just, it's just serious. Um, I always want to make sure that when I do put something out that it's genuinely something that I enjoy that I can see uh, years down the road. Um, as in for like my YouTube channel, I've been doing YouTube for on and off for like a good five, six years, I think. Um, and my beginner videos, you know, they were a little scratchy, a little scratchy, but, um, overall when I like look back and I watch them, it's like, wow, like, you know, that was a really good content that I did at that time, even though I really wasn't that good at editing. Um, it's just, that's just how serious I am about content. Um, so the things again today's topic is going to be very much like a, just a catch up with me to for me to tell you what's been going on um i did turn 30 yay um i am going to the dominican republic um which was not the best trip that i had so far but it was very enlightening of things that i can do um i went to the dominican republic by myself which was not intentional at all not even mildly intentional 
Um, it just so happened to be that way because uh, a few friends could not go. And then also the friend that I was supposed to go with, she ended up losing her passport. And that was just, you know, it was a shit show in itself. But me going to the Dominican Republic by myself really did show that I can do things by myself. Like, I never was one of the people who can go on trips by themselves or even think of going on trips by myself. Like, I always thought you should go on trips with people because that's just how... I don't know, like, growing up, like, when people go on vacations, they always have somebody with them. It's either, like, their partner or it's, like, a friend or it's something you just usually don't go by yourself. So, when I went by myself, um, it was cool for the most part. Um, I never told anybody I was there by myself. I was like, oh, my friends are here with me or, you know, just for safety measures, you know. Um, but I always would say, like, oh, I have friends here because I stayed in the Airbnb, which was a horrible decision. But, again, I thought people were coming with me. That's why. I definitely, when I go overseas from now on, I'm definitely staying resort. That's just point blank, period. Like, I'm not going to, uh-uh, no Airbnbs. Like, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. I need to make sure that I can be fed. I can get water when I want to. And I will have entertainment if I want to. And there's always stuff going to be around. You know, like, it was just, boy, Um, I think that it was very... Uh, therapeutic and also very spiritual for me to go and be by myself in the Dominican Republic. Um, I stayed at the beach a lot. Um, and I was thinking about a lot of stuff, like as in friendships, um, family relationships, um, progressing in life, um, and what I wanted to do next. So I did want to, I did tell myself I wanted to come back and do content. This is all in August, mind you, um, that I wanted to do content and create as much as much as i can um because i really do like creating content no we're in march and not now content has been made i mean i have posts i've made posts on like youtube's videos i done tiktoks so i kind of dip my feet back in but it hasn't been consistent content what i told myself i wanted to do um and i used to blame so many things for that i used to blame like my availability i used to blame like my mental health i used to blame um, just anything I can think of, but it, honestly, everything falls back on me, and I get that now, um, due to therapy, shout out to therapy, um, and I know that I can do a lot more content that I put out to be. Now, keep in mind, uh, birthday trip was, it was decent, um, and I have learned from that, and we're keeping it pushing. Now progressing into the rest of the year, um, rest of last year, 2022, um, I don't know. I was in a, like a rut when it came to content um, creation, as well as I felt like I didn't want to do any content because I was still under my mother's roof, um, which I did move out. Yeah, um, I'm back in the streets. Don't get me wrong. I have lived by myself before numerous amount of times for numerous amount of years when I lived in Florida, but um, being back in my own space and... Have my own space gives me more time to do whatever I want. There's nobody around the corner, like, listening to what I'm saying. Not saying that she was, but it's just like, you know, when you want to create content, you want to be in your own sanctum. And that's what I am now. And the sad part is that I've been in my sanctum for, like, since January. And content has not been pushed. And the main reason why I haven't pushed any, like, visual content is because of the lighting issue. Which I have now purchased items to make it so that I won't have any lighting issues. So there should be no reason why I can't do any visual content. And then when it comes to podcasts, I had no excuse. <laughs> Think about it, there's no re- there's no excuse. I have no reason. There's no physical. There's like all I have to do is just grab my mic that I paid money for to sit down on this computer and um do it. But I haven't. So uh. Procrastination ain't anything, but also I never want to put out any content when I am in a mental rut. I think that's a big thing for me as well. I it, I think mental health is very important. I think a lot of people make a lot of rash decisions because they haven't had any mental health or many uh, mental health help or any guidance with just mental health in general. So they make a lot of bad decisions. And me as one of them people, I very much do not want to make any bad decisions that I can't stand like 10 toes down in. Cause I'm very much 
at this big age of 30, um, want to make sure I stand 10 toes down in whatever I do. And that's very important to me. And it's always going to be important to me, especially when it comes to my content. Because the thing is that it's easy for haters to get to you when you know you fucked up. And you be like, yeah, I fucked up. I did. But if you, like, genuinely put all that you can into something and you, um, like, it's just the main thing. Like, you're putting all of your energy into something and you're creating and grooming your craft and somebody has something to say about it, like a hater, that's when you be like, bitch, fuck you. Because, I mean, I did my big one on this one. Because I don't care what nobody say. I ate that. You may think I ain't ate it, but, bitch, I'm chewing on it right now. Like, cut the camera. Stop playing with me. But, um, yeah. My main thing for this podcast is kind of like a quick little recap of everything. I will have better, better topics than this, but I just wanted to come back and say hello. Um, and just let you know the content's coming. Um, I really want to make sure that this go around we stay in. Because I hate when, again, I hate when I start content and then shit happens. And then I go ghost for at least six months. I ha- I'm, like, very notorious for that. I will go, I will disappear into the shadows for six months and act like nothing happened. And be like, hey, hey, like, I'm back, bitches. You thought I was dead? You thought you was killing me? That's a dub. Um, so, yeah. This is going to be the first podcast back. Uh, welcome to 2023. Um, you haven't heard my previous podcast before. Um, I would say definitely re- listen and uh, review over them, and just get ready for the new content. I plan on dropping more podcasts from April moving forward. Um, I definitely want to be more consistent. I definitely want to have content every week. Um, I do work a full time job. I do want to keep that into sh- let everybody know that. Um, and I feel like if there's a will, there's a way. And I need to at least put out some type of content once a week. It may not be a podcast every week. I'm not going to care. Um, but it will be some type of content on my socials. So please follow me at Von the Best. Everything is Von the Best. V-A-U-G-H-N-T-H-A. Best. Again, it's V-A-U-G-H-N-T-H-A. Best. To see more of my lovely face. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for listening to this. It looked like 13 minutes podcast. Peace, guys.